continuing on with the evaluating expressions worksheet, under the free worksheets in Algebra 1 for CUDA software, we're going to go ahead and do number 11. And in this video, we're going to get all the way up to number 20. So this says p squared times m divided by 4. m is going to be 4, so we're going to plug a 4 in for m. And p is going to be 7. So plugging those values in for the variables in the expression, we're going to get 7 squared times m is 4 divided by 4. Now remembering order of operations, we have to do exponents first. So 7 squared is going to give us 49 times 4 divided by 4. Now we can either do multiplication or division. The order for that doesn't matter, but we're going to do division first because 4 divided by 4 is just 1. So we're going to have 49 times 1, which is equal to 49. So 49 is the answer for number 11. Let's go into number 12. 12 says that y is equal to 10 and z is equal to 2. So we're going to plug those values in for y and z in the equations. y is 10 and z is 2. So 2 is actually going to be plugged in twice. Now in the last video, we would simplify the expression and sometimes combine the variables to start. However, we cannot combine z and z squared together because they don't have the same exponent. If this z on the left also had a squared, then we would be able to combine them and say that we have 2z squared. Unfortunately, it doesn't, so we can't combine them, and we're just going to have to insert 2 in multiple times for this expression. So y we said was 10 minus z, which is 2, plus z squared, so that's going to be 2 squared. Doing the exponent first, we're going to have 10 minus 2 plus 2 squared It's 2 times 2. That will give us 4. So now we're going to go ahead and do what's in the parentheses. So we're going to have 10 minus 2 plus 4 is 6. And that 10 minus 6 is going to be equal to 4. So 4 was our answer for number 12. Let's move on to 13. 13, we're going to be plugging in a y, and we're going to be plugging in a value for z. So that's 7 for z and 3 for y. So we're going to have 7 minus 3 divided by 3 minus 1. 3 divided by 3 is within the parentheses and division comes before subtraction. So that's our first step. So we're going to have 7 minus 3 divided by 3 is 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is within the parentheses. So we're going to have 7 minus 1 minus 1, which will be 7 minus 0. So our answer for number 13 is going to be 7. Notice for 14, we're going to plug the value of 1 into the expression in two different places, since there are two different x's. And again, we cannot simplify these x's because this x is within a parenthesis and the division needs to occur before this other x is added. So attempting to combine these will get very messy, and we know the values already, so just leave them separate. And we also have y as 1. So... Our expression is now 1 plus 1 divided by 2 plus x is 1, so 1. Doing what's in the parentheses first, we're going to have 1 plus 1, which is 2, divided by 2 plus 1. So now we have 2 divided by 2, which is 1, and then we need to add that final 1. This is going to give us a positive 2. So the answer for number 14 is 2. Now continuing on to the next page is 15. For 15, 
we're going to plug 4 in for m, we're going to plug 5 in for p, and for q, we're going to plug in 3. So let me go ahead and plug those values in now. So 5 minus 9 minus parenthesis 4 for m plus q, which is 3, and then close both sets of parentheses. So we need to do the inner parentheses first. So we're going to start with this 4 plus 3. That's going to give us 5 minus 9 minus 4 plus 3 is 7. Now we need to evaluate what's in the parentheses again. So 9 minus 7 is going to give us 2. So we're going to have 5 minus 2 which is equivalent to 3. So 15 is 3. 16, we're going to plug 5 in for A, and we're going to plug 1 in for B. So we're going to have 5 squared minus 1 divided by 6. Exponents come first, so we're going to evaluate this 5 squared. We're going to get 25 and then minus 1 within parentheses divided by 6. Next, evaluating what's inside of the parentheses, 25 minus 1 is 24. And then that is divided by 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4, because 4 times 6 is 24. So the answer to number 16 is 4. 17, we have the variables h and j. So for h, we're plugging in a 6, and for j, we're going to be plugging in a 4. That's going to give us 6 plus 6 squared minus 4, close the parenthesis, divided by 2. Remembering PEMDAS, the order of operations, within the parentheses, we have to do the exponent first. So we're going to do 6 squared and that'll give us 6 plus 6 squared is 36 minus 4 divided by 2. In this next step, we still have to do what's inside of the parentheses, but addition or subtraction, it doesn't matter which one we do first. So let's go ahead and do subtraction first and do 36 minus 4. That means we're going to be left with 6 plus 36 minus 4 is 32. And that is divided by 2. So still working within the parentheses, we're going to do 6 plus 32, which is going to give us 38. Divide that by 2, and we get 19. So 19 is the answer for number 17. Moving on to problem 18, we have y minus the quantity 4 minus x minus y divided by 2. We're plugging in 3 for x, and we're plugging 2 in for y. Again, y occurs twice, but there's no easy way to simplify this because the y gets divided by 2 at the very start. So simplification, trying to combine those will get messy, so let's just plug in the values since they're given. So plugging those in, we're going to get 2 minus 4 minus x is 3 minus y is 2. Divide that by 2, and that's our new expression. Within the parentheses, we're going to do division first. So we're going to have 2 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 divided by 2 gives us a quantity of 1. So now in the parentheses, we're going to do 4 minus 3, and then that quantity, we're going to subtract 1. So we're going to have 2 minus 4 minus 3 is 1, and then minus 1. So we're going to get 2 minus 0, and that's going to give us a positive 2 for number 18. Number 19 says x cubed divided by 3 minus y. We're plugging in 3 for x, and for y, we're going to be plugging in 1. So this is going to be 3 cubed 
divided by 3 minus 1. Start with the exponent because it goes parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. So 3 cubed is going to give us 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. And then we're going to divide 27 by 3 and subtract 1. So 27 divided by 3 gives us 9, and then subtract the 1 to give us 8. So the answer to number 19 is 8. Moving on to our last problem in this video, number 20. We have p plus q and that quantity squared minus the quantity 5 minus 5. So p, that's going to be 1, and q as well is 1. So plugging that in, we're going to have 1 plus 1 squared minus 5 minus 5. We're going to do what's in the parentheses first. So we're going to go ahead and do 1 plus 1. And while we're at it, let's combine these two steps. We'll do 1 plus 1, and that's going to be 2 squared minus, the next step would be to evaluate what's inside the other parentheses as well. So let's go ahead and just do that now. 5 minus 5 is 0. So we have 1 plus 1, which is 2 squared, minus 5 minus 5 which is 0. So we get 2 squared, which is 4, minus 0. It's going to give us a positive 4. In the next video, we'll finish up this worksheet doing numbers 21 through 26. Remember to like this video if you found it helpful, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, if you need me to go over anything in more detail, please leave a comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.